Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homestead. He wanted to do an update for the uh, lower deck garden boxes that we've got all transplanted and everything put into. Let me grab the camera. You can hear one of our neighbors is, I think, probably pressure washing something. So sorry about the uh, inclusion into the audio of the noisy machine. <laughs> okay, so you can see over here, I transplanted all the spinach that used to be under the house. It's now inside this bed here, as well as the other bed, in those two empty spaces that I was talking about. And then here's the chard. So here's the rainbow chard. I transplanted that in here, as well as the Silverado chard, which was a little bit shorter, so I've got some space here in the front where I'm going to put in some seed for the Silverado chard and sprout some new chard. Uh, they both have kind of fell over because after I was done transplanting them today, they, uh, I had to water them, and so they, they kind of tipped over a little bit. But uh, you can see there's a lot of big healthy leaves here. And uh, we're going to be harvesting some of this off this week and putting in some sautés that Paul is going to be doing because we're going to be doing a lot of barbecuing because we're going to have some really nice weather this next week. And then here's the uh, white Russian kale. You can see it's greened up quite a bit some being out here. So I'm, I'm happy that it's uh, starting to come along and you know, I guess it likes its new box along with the organic fertilizer I put in. Then I put the, uh, the smaller spinach over here into this area and then the bigger ones kind of back here in the shade because with the 80 degree weather this week I don't know if this box is going to get hammered you know with that heat so I wanted to put if any of them are going to die I'd rather have these small ones die off than my big ones that I put in this box because this box it loses sun in this area right at noon and as the day goes it progresses further across these boxes because of the shade of our back side of our house because that side of the house that we're on faces east uh, you can see the kale here. Looks pretty good. This uh, beta salad mix has really started to take off. And Paul has been harvesting a lot of that, as well as the uh, arugula that I put into this box. So we've been eating uh, quite a few uh, of our breakfasts with this. She takes this and uh, sautés it. Or not, doesn't really sauté it. She mixes it with our eggs. And so it kind of cooks down a little bit. It tastes really good. So it's kind of like a, a beet beet chard because these are I mean basically the beta salad mix is basically beets that you let get big to where you take their leaves and then there are beet roots you can see I don't know if you can see that one right there that's what they you know, basically they are a beet so we don't eat those beets because once they get to this point where they're producing a lot of the lettuce they get really tough I mean I guess you could I don't know could pick them <laughs> I, don't know. I don't think it'd be worth it though all right well let me put the camera back down here. All right, well, this has been Brian from PNB Homesteading. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.